Thanks to Baylor University Medical Center's Heart to Heart program, one local man was able to see his heart up close and personal. KMR Local 4's Crystal Martinez reports the program is keeping patients healthy after their heart transplants. The Heart to Heart program started around seven years ago after a heart transplant patient saw cardiologist Dr. Roberts walking down the hall at Baylor. He said, I understand you have my heart. And I said, okay. And then uh, he said he would like to see it. Dr. Roberts invited the man to a conference that he and his colleagues held weekly. It was never possible. I mean, think of the billions of people who walked on planet Earth and not a single one ever saw their own heart. Now, more than 170 people have been able to view their hearts and get a better understanding of what caused the damage. And as far as I know, this is the only place in the country where patients who've had a heart transplant uh, can see their hearts. Some patients try to share the knowledge of their heart health with their loved ones. Bring their children and grandchildren and occasionally a friend. Some families even change their eating habits because they have seen what could happen by not caring for their heart. For heart recipient Daryl Moore, this was an eye-opening experience. It was pretty surreal. I mean, it was it was interesting. I didn't expect it to be quite what it what it is. Moore says he couldn't pass up the opportunity, especially since there was a time he wasn't sure if he would have it. I don't think it's um, something very many people would get to do. So, you know, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Moore says he doesn't take his transplant lightly and plans to take care of his new heart, not only to enjoy his second chance at life, but to honor the person who donated their heart so that he could live. In studio, Crystal Martinez, KAMR, Local 4 News. Kaylee? Crystal, thank you. A little fun fact, Moore actually got to see his heart and hold it on Valentine's Day of all, day, of all days.